Hello and welcome to my new scholarship episode. I'm Dr. Mohammed Ikram and you're watching Asad Jafrika. If you are looking further to your education abroad and worried about fundings, uh, we have a great news. A, uh, one of the top leading universities, University of Hawaii, recently announced a fully funded scholarship, a program, East to West uh, Graduate Scholarship for international students, a program that designed for the brightest mind in education. So in this video, I uh, bring this wonderful and amazing opportunity for international students. Uh, University of Anana, Hawaii, United States announced this opportunity for master and the PhD program. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can apply for this scholarship, what is the logistic criteria, what financial benefit the university is offering to international students, uh, what are the different uh, documents you have to prepare for this scholarship, where you have to upload these uh, documents, and further information, and what is the process of application. Uh, so technically, this uh, university has two different uh, portals and platforms, so watch this video till end, because there are some technical points that I will explain this video in a very simple and easiest way. Uh, that will uh, help you to understand the uh, complete process uh, easily. Uh, so if you are new on my channel, so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. You will get the notification of all my future videos on time. We have a WhatsApp group. You can uh, see the QR code on the screen. Simply use your mobile camera, uh, scan this QR code and join our WhatsApp group. So let's go to my computer screen and start this fully funded scholarship at University of Hawaii, United States. Let's start. Welcome to my computer screen, fully funded University of Hawaii, East West Central Graduate Scholarship in the United States for international students. SRG Africa is a unique platform that provides the valuable information and scholarship, research, and jobs to international students. The main objective of SRG Africa is to develop a sustainable future in this world. Okay, so applications are now invited to apply for this fully funded scholarship at University of Hawaii. So let's start first with the criteria. The first eligibility criteria point is applicant must be national or one of the country listed. Uh, above. I'm going to show uh, the list of countries that is only the candidates from these uh, specific countries list uh, only eligible for this college. So number one is uh, United States National. So all the students from United States are eligible for this scholarship. Pacific Region, Australia, American, uh, uh, Samoa, Cook Island, French, Pens, uh, Polynesia, uh, Federated States of uh, Micronesia, Fiji. So these are the different Pacific regions, countries, the candidates from these countries are eligible for this scholarship. The second is the Southeast Asia, Burma, Brunei, Cambodia, uh, Laos, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam are also eligible for this scholarship. South Asian countries are Afghanistan, Bhutan, uh, Bangladesh, Iran, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. East Asian countries are China, Hong Kong, Japan, Mongolia, uh, Macau, North Korea, South Korea, Russia, and Taiwan. So these countries are eligible. Only the candidates from these countries are eligible for this scholarship. The second is a must have offer a master degree or PhD degree in the university. So I've explained there are two different platforms. First, you have to apply to a platform where you will get an offer of your admission. Then you have to show the evidence of that offer. And then you have to go for another platform to apply for the scholarship. So I will explain into detail in this video uh, what are these two platforms and how you can apply for your uh, scholarship application. The third important eligibility criteria point is uh, hold an undergraduate degree or its equivalent with the excellent academic record. If you are applying for a master, if you're applying for the PhD, you should have a master degree uh, or equivalent with the excellent academic record. Two years of full-time professional experience is also one of the eligibility criteria of this scholarship. Have oral and written skills in English language, okay? I will explain further. So what are 
these uh, uh, requirement related to the English language proficiency. Uh, age should be uh, less than 35 years old. The age limit may be 45 years for programs that are appropriate for senior officials and managers. So uh, the age limit is 35, but there is a flexibility up, the, up to the 45 years for those programs. Basically, that's only for senior officials and managers related to business uh, related uh, disciplines or fields. Okay, applicant must have a good in health. Okay, you have to return to your home country after completion. This is the eligibility criteria after completion of EFDP. You have to go back to your country and then you can come back for your job or birth according to the, this contract or this agreement for this fully funded scholarship in the university. Once you will complete your education the, in the, at the University of Hawaii, United States, then you have to travel back to your country. Okay, so this is the requirement. So these are all the eligibility criteria points. Let's move to the next section. It's the financial benefits. The university is providing very uh, good financial benefits to international students. Complete tuition fee waived off. Free accommodation. Free accommodation. Accommodation is one of the expensive part of your staying abroad in any university uh, for a fully funded scholarship. So, But university is, a, is giving this uh, free accommodation facility. So I believe it's a wonderful opportunity for international students. A monthly stipend to cover food and accidental expense, any anything you want to buy. So monthly stipend you will get every month from this university after winning the scholarship. Around airfare ticket from home country to US and return. So free uh, airfare ticket from your home country to United States and from United States your home country at the time of completion of your degree and at the start when you will travel to United States. Comprehensive health insurance in the United States, book allowance and allowance for material and supplies, subsidy towards health insurance coverage. So I believe these all financial benefits are enough to live a good life during your study tenure at University of Hawaii, United States, because few universities, especially in the United States, are providing all these benefits to international students. So let's move to the third important section of the scholarship is the documents you have to prepare. As I mentioned in all my previous video, 90% documents are similar or same for all the scholarship applications, but sometimes universities are adding some specific uh, requirement of the documents. So let's see what uh, this university has added a new thing for international students to prepare for this scholarship application. So number one is CV is the same. Number two is the copy of passport. Number three is the motivational letter. Number four is the research proposal. Same, similar for all scholarship application in any university. Three recommendation letters. So this is my here is that some new requirement has been added by the university. You need three recommendation letters. Two recommendation letter will uh, uh, will uh, signed by any of your previous professor who will only talk about your academic performance. So this university has a specific uh, 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 recommendation letter template. Uh, you can find the link in the description and uh, I'm going to show how this uh, recommendation letter template look like. You have to use this recommendation letter template. So two recommendation letter you have to get from your previous professor who will evaluate your academic performance. Okay, letter of reference, academic or professional. Here is the template. Uh, so the professor has to fill the information and evaluate your academic or professional performance. Okay, this is uh, the first template. You have to get to this uh, letter of reference by using this template. And one letter of reference you have to get from any professor who will evaluate your uh, contribution to the society, your services, what you have done so far. So here is also, this is the second uh, template. You have to use this template to get this uh, reference letter. This is the second template, letter of reference, civic engagement. It means your social services or any kind of services to community or society, engagement services, uh, any type of services that you provided to your uh, community while doing your bachelor or other master program in your previous university. Okay, so here is the information the professor has to fill. So you need three reference or recommendation letter from the three professors uh, for this scholarship application. The next is statement of objectives. There is a specific template you have to fill 
uh, you have to prepare this uh, statement of objective by using this template. Okay, so here is the uh, template you have to fill the information to in order to fulfill the requirement of this scholarship application. So this is the mandatory document for this scholarship. And uh, uh, next is the TOEFL, uh, that is called Duolingo or the IELTS, TOEFL minimum, internet-based test score 79 and 6.5 for IELTS. So this is the international English language proficiency uh, requirement in order to apply in this university. So this clearly mentioned they accept TOEFL, uh, Julingo or IELTS uh, for this scholarship application. And this is the score, minimum score criteria 79 in the uh, TOEFL and 6.5 for IELTS. Okay. And you have also have to provide the evidence of the transcripts and degree in order to apply for this scholarship application in this university. Okay, this is all about your documents you have to uh, prepare for this scholarship application. Now let's move the most important and technical uh, section of this scholarship application process. This uh, scholarship application at the University of Hawaii, two different portals where you have to apply. And before starting, uh, before going to uh, these two important portals, I want to air mention the list of program this university is offering to international students. So let's see, the link is also available in the description. Uh, so here we have the program administered, administered by the graduate division. You can find your program. Uh, this university is offering to international students by alphabetically orders. Okay, so you can find here and then you can choose and apply for your program that you are interested for at this university uh, in the United States. Okay. Uh, so after this, uh, you have to first, the first step is apply at the University of Hawaii at uh, Manoa. Okay, so link is also in the description. You will go to this website. You will create an account and sign in, uh, upload all the information and documents and submit your application. Once you will submit application, you have to download a PDF copy of your application submission at University of Hawaii, United States. And after this completion of this uh, first step, then you have to go to the second step that is the East West Center Graduate Scholarship website. The link is also in the description and you have to upload the evidence that you applied at University of Hawaii. Okay, so simply you will go to this uh, website and you will click on apply and you will create an account simply. Okay, after creation an account, and you have to upload all the, again the documents with the application that you submitted at University of Hawaii in the United States. Okay, so this is the process, and and after this you upload all the documents again and submit your application for this scholarship. So there are two important different platforms that you have to follow. If you miss any of the platform, so the university will not consider your application for this scholarship program. All right. So I believe you understand this is a very simple and easy process. It's just a duplication of application submission. And additionally, you have to submit one additional document is the proof that you have applied at the University of Hawaii. When you will up to submit your documents at East West uh, Center Graduate Scholarship Program website. Okay, so application timeline, the, the deadline to submit your application at the both platform. Uh, United States, uh, the University of Hawaii, and the East West Center Graduate uh, uh, Scholarship uh, Portal is uh, December 1st, 2023. So now we have August, September, October, November, and then December. So I believe you have enough time to use the International English Language Proficiency uh, exam and to prepare the, all the documents for this scholarship. And in case if you want to inquire any further information, so here is the address. Okay, so simply you can go, uh, you can call, you can fax, also the email address scholarships at the rate of eastwestcenter.org is available. You can inquire any further information related to this scholarship. Okay, so that's all about the fully funded University of Hawaii. East West uh, Central Graduate Degree Scholarship in United States for International Student. I hope you understand this simple and easy process. And uh, if you will have any further queries, so please leave a comment. I would like to answer your queries on time. 
Uh, so if you are new on my channel, so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. You will get the notification of all my future videos on time. And see you in the next video with a more valuable information on scholarship, research and jobs. Uh, take care. Have a good day.